Well, we often talk about how much sleep we get or don't get, but tonight we are talking with Dr. Malika Marshall about the kind of sleep we get, the quality, and this impacts all of us. It really does, every single one of us. So this study, this re researchers at Brigham and Women's Hospital, they surveyed more than a thousand U.S. adults in the fall of 2021 during the pandemic about the quality of their sleep. For example, did last night's sleep leave you feeling groggy in the morning? Well, they found that only about 28% of respondents reported high scores of restorative sleep, meaning that they woke up feeling refreshed with improved mental alertness and mood and energy which means 72% did not get high quality sleep, which actually surprised lead study author, Dr. Rebecca Robbins. It's really the converse of a lot of these other nationally representative data that we have that show that only one third of Americans are in the, the problematic category. But our study showed that instead about two in three Americans might be falling short of restorative sleep. So waking up day in and day out and not feeling refreshed, not feeling ready to take on the day. Now, not surprisingly, people with multiple children, sandwich caregivers who are taking care of kids and older adults, and those out of work and under financial stress tend to report the least restorative sleep. So, how can you improve the quality of your sleep? Well, Dr. Robin says to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, including weekends, she says Monday to Monday, and she says it takes most people at least 15 to 20 minutes to fall asleep, so the time right before bed is critically important. So really think of that as part of the process and add that to your number that we all shoot for, whether it's seven, hopefully seven or eight hours, tack on an extra 30 minutes and think of that as your wind down time and pack it with things that you love. Think about happy memories, take a warm shower, read a couple pages in a book, give yourself the, the time to slip into sleep well. You know, she says when it comes to sleep, we adults need to take the same advice that we give to our children. We need bedtime stories, too. That's true. I listen to books on tape right before I go to sleep. I don't know whether it helps or not, but it certainly calms me down. Well, that's what the 11 o'clock news is for. It's like a bedtime story when you join us. There you go. But good advice, doctor. Thank you. You're welcome. David?